Hello nice humans, this video is in two parts. The first part is an unboxing from Stationery Pal. They reached out and asked if I would like to um, receive some stuff from them and then tell you what I thought about it. So I'm doing that only because I already shopped at Stationery Pal. So um, don't expect to see heaps of unboxings and things here because that's not really my vibe unless, like I said, it's something that I'm already using or had already intended to try. The second half of the video is an actual project of me using the stuff. It's uh, a letter that I made for a friend. So if you're not interested in unboxings, you can skip ahead to that. And if you like both of those things, then you can watch the whole thing and hopefully it's a nice long video to enjoy. Um, yeah, so let's get stuck into this lovely thing. Um, it arrived in this box, which I just, I love so much. <laughs> Look at it, it's so cute. I have this thing, I like, you know, a lot of YouTubers have like a really distinct aesthetic, like Meg from Meg Journals. She's got the most beautiful, like, you know, something is Meg when you see it because it's like, it's vintage, it's muted, it's floral. And it's just like, she has this really strong personal brand, which is her personal style and it's really authentic. And Kaylee Gray is a lot like that too. You know, you're seeing a Kaylee artwork when you see it for the minimalism and like the emotion that goes in it. And then her beautiful like hand lettering and collage and textures and that kind of thing, you know, and um, there's so many creators that are like that. I have a bit of trouble with a personal aesthetic because I have so many things that I love that I have trouble sticking to something and making it mine. Um, and that used to stress me out a lot, but it doesn't anymore. I'm just like, I just like what I like. And it depends on my mood. Um, I love vintage stuff as well, but um, I have a real soft spot for really cute um, sort of <laughs> 80s style or like um, kind of Japanese style cute stuff like um, Sanrio and Care Bears and things. So when I opened this up, I was just, look how cute it is. Look at this box. <laughs> They're like gummy bears on the side and then like Care Bears-ish on the front. And then on the back, it's got like a little Sailor Moon bow. So I was just like, I don't know. It just, it made me very smiley because it's very sweet. Anyway, enough about the box. Let's actually open it up and have a look. Even the bubble wrap is cute. Look, it's heart shaped. Oh, it's a nice little card. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love, <laughs> I love this stuff confetti. I love using it in my journals and making like little pockets and putting it in like, um, uh, pen pal letters and things like that. So, um, yes, I'm going to collect all of this and put it in a little dish and keep it. <laughs> So I know this about Stationery Pal already um, because like I said, I'm a previous kind of customer, but they often put really cute little um, tiny presents inside and they've gone all out this time. They've sent me um, <laughs> these are really cute little critters um, and this little rubber ducky, look how cute that is. <laughs> and then this little, this little bear with his sunglasses. They look like, um, they want to be pixel sunglasses almost. <laughs> and oh my goodness, they've sent like little keychains as well. My kiddo and their friends like putting these on their school bags. And this one's my Melody from Sanrio. Look how cute she is. She's got a little um, cupcake. And so this is like a whole handful of little gifts, which is extremely sweet. And I'm going to have fun distributing them amongst some of my favorite kids and Probably keep one or two myself, let's be honest. <laughs> so the first thing that I want to take out are these tweezers. Tweezers are something that I use so much in my craft. Like um, I use them for collage because I work with really tiny little pieces uh, of, of paper, like I've got a very small scale. So I needed a new pair of tweezers because one pair got a bit rusty and another pair um, got lost <laughs> so I just needed to refresh my uh, tweezers and so I got this little pair of tweezers which is pink and it's really cute these ones came in a whole different um, range of colors which was really nice I think you could get like purple and uh, I think there was a blue pair and they were pretty pastel colors so I got some more 
So the next thing that I want to fish out of here is this little roll of washi tape. Now, it looks uninspiring, right? But here's the thing. I'm one of those people who will buy beautiful washi tapes that have gorgeous patterns on them because I love the prints and the pattern. But the thing is, you can't use those all the time because otherwise things get too busy. And sometimes you want to layer things up like one of those beautiful patterns with something more muted or more plain. And so I really love the opportunity to get simple colors. And I love the MT pastels. I have a bunch of those, but they have different colors at um, Stationery Pal. And I really, really liked this one. It made me think of like um, rain clouds and like faded hydrangeas and beautiful things like that. So I grabbed this one. It's sort of like a, it can't decide if it wants to be blue or lilac. This is the kind of thing that I have with me on a sample of card in my pencil case pretty much at all times because it's useful for everything. So yeah, very happy with this one. Um, so this is something that I have wanted for a while, but sort of not really been able to justify purchasing. And so when I had the opportunity to get one from Stationery Pal, I was like, yes, please. Um, so yeah, it's really great for adding to um, Instax photos, like they look super cute stuck on the bit where you would, where you, you know, they've got the bit at the bottom that you can write on or put a little sticker on. These are great for that. Like, obviously you can use them for actually labeling things, but within journaling, there's so many things you can use them for. And I like the kind of retro vibe that they have as well. This is the kind of thing that um, I loved as a kid too. Um, but no, but yeah, so there's something kind of nostalgic about them for me as well. So very, very excited about that. This is a pink one. It's quite small, which I also like. I don't really want to fill my studio with more bulky tools. And it comes with a roll of um, like the standard black tape. So I love that. So next up, we've got these Ahura Memo roll stickers, which I can feel by the weight of the box are actually really heavy. Um, so that to me says there's quite a lot in there, which is exciting. So I'm pretty sure the box is designed so that you can um, like keep the roll in there and then they come out of this little opening here. So I'm just gonna open it up and show you. Oh my goodness, look how big that is. There are so many stickers on there. Incredible, that's so awesome. They just seem like really useful things to add to a journal page. Really handy if you want to cover something up, like you've written on it and you've made a mistake or something and you want to put something over the top of it. I find a sticker like this is really good. It's not too small to cover up a big, like a bigger error if you've made one, but they're also beautiful design sort of elements in and of themselves. Um, these are really nice. They're not too glossy, so they'll be easy to write on with whatever pen I decide that I want to use. And yeah, they've got like a little checklist at the top that says, um, important thing, additional content or summary, which I think is really cute too. You can just tick that if you want to. And we've got uh, green, gray, like an orangey coral color, blue and yellow. So it's a nice little mix of colors and I think they're gonna be incredibly useful. These are the kinds of things that I'll probably like trim a few of them off and put them in uh, my traveler's notebook um, so that I have them there when I want to use them. So I've got them with me on the go, but then I'll keep the box itself here at home in the studio um, and I'll just replenish what I have with me uh, periodically as I use them up. This next thing is something that I'm really excited about. It's a really simple thing that you might often scroll past when you're looking on a stationary site because it's not really in any of the main kind of crafty categories. You know, you go to look at stickers or you go to look at washi tape or whatever else. This is a really handy accessory. And what it is, is it's the Faber-Castell Click and Go um, water pot. It's fantastic for people who like to do art or journal with um, mixed media on the go. So it actually folds up quite small, as you can see. Like this would fit very easily inside my, um, pencil case or just in the bottom of my handbag and then it expands and you have a water pot with you for painting. Um, I'm not somebody who has a great time using those um, water brushes, you know the ones that have the water in the handle. I know a lot of people find those really handy for um, like, uh, urban sketching and painting you know out in the world but I, I find them difficult to use personally. So this is a great alternative to that if it's something that you want to include in your journaling while you're out and about. This is a perfectly um, handy and useful little uh, 
tool for yeah being a artist on the go as many of us are so I'm stoked to get my hands on this one you can get other ones from art stores um, but I find they're quite lightweight and I'm often worried that they're going to um, tip over and this has got a nice heavy uh, base to it and it, it doesn't um, expand too high so it doesn't become top heavy and tip so it's um real a really good design so yeah oh, it's even got like a um, a wavy edge on the top that so you can put your paintbrush on it without it rolling off so it's just those little design things that are really pleasing so I love this next up we've got these really sweet little labels I actually got these in um, two colors because I was so into them I hadn't seen anything quite like them before um, and they're like how do I describe them they're perforated uh, little notepads and you can sort of tear off different sections of them for whatever purpose you want to use them for so you can sort of see on the front there's some examples of how they can be used um, as you know labels on items or to cover up like really specific areas of your notes or um, to create labels on the spines of books and things like that so they're really handy and really versatile because of the fact that you can tear them to whatever size you like and obviously you can cut or tear any paper to the size you like but it's really nice that these have got that perforation because you get that lovely edge on it like which is a really nice design feature in and of itself like I love that texture so I love these they're going to be really fun to use so next up is this little paper bundle I really really love these I've purchased them from stationery pal before and um they're incredibly handy so they're basically just a little collection of cute prints on different uh, sizes of paper and it's a really nice way to get a kind of coordinated but diverse um, collection of papers that you can then use in your journaling for whatever purpose you like so you can see that there's some really gorgeous floral patterns in there lovely vintage sort of rose buds and uh, and then some more kind of textured designs uh, that are and more stylized ones I guess which is also really nice because they mix really well together with the larger florals what I love about these also is when you see a pretty floral print but it's on a giant 12 by 12 piece of scrapbooking paper or you know a, some other large format you're less likely to use it all up because you probably will get sick of it before you get to the end of it and uh, that's something that means that I end up with a craft room full of half used sheets of paper which is really frustrating and kind of wasteful so something like this allows you to get that all that variation and sort of floral prettiness in your journals or you know whatever pattern you like it doesn't have to be flowers <laughs> um without yeah over purchasing I guess and yeah it's really nice okay so these are something that I'm going to show you in another little short video but these are a um a little pen blind box which are Sanrio themed um, so stand by for a little video about these that will feature the rest of the family that's all I'm gonna do with these ones now but I'll be back with that soon <laughs> um, speaking of Sanrio my favorite Sanrio characters are Kiki and Lala the little twin stars um, when we went to Japan recently we went to Sanrio Pura Land and it was like a religious experience <laughs> it was amazing um and yes i i got to see a bunch of kiki and lala stuff which is really nice um because you know hello kitty is the queen of sanrio and everyone knows hello kitty and a lot of people know the other characters like my melody and cinnamon roll and that kind of thing but there are a bunch of lesser known characters that don't get as much love and i find that the little twin stars are among them but yeah, I've loved Kiki and Lala since I was five years old and so they have that nostalgic quality for me and I just think they're so cute. My name means star, so I think there's something about the symbolism that I think I was drawn to as a kid and they've just always been, you know, something that makes me smile. So I got this pencil. This is a mechanical pencil, um, but it's a really good one. It's a monograph one. I have one of these um, in just a plain, um, it's really pretty pastel yellow and I use it all the time so I really wanted to get a special edition one um, 
when I had the chance because this is not a pen that's going to run out. This is a mechanical pencil that I get to use, you know, indefinitely. So it was nice to get a special one because then I don't ever have to part with it. <laughs> My goodness, there is so much in here. I feel like I've been talking for ages because every time I look in, there's more stuff. It's so cool. Um, they've been really generous and I'm super grateful. <laughs> um, so these are these really pretty little, uh, bits and pieces for journaling. So bits of ephemera and st I think there's stickers inside as well. I'm just gonna open it up so we can have a look. So, you know, I was talking about having this whiplash between um, cutesy pastel colored stuff from the eighties, like my little twin stars, and then um, vintage stuff. This is very much in the vintage uh, camp. <laughs> it's, there's heaps of really beautiful designs and they're gonna be really fun to add to pen pal letters, to um, like journal spreads, you know, the whole, the whole shebang. Um, some of them are like artworks that are in frames. So like a photograph of like a framed, uh, still life picture, which is always a nice thing to add. It's got some small, like a whole lot of smaller pieces, which are really useful, um, and versatile. And then it's got a couple of larger ones that are also fun to use in kind of a different way. They can, be a really lovely focal piece in an art journal. Um, you can cut them up as well if you don't want to use them on a large scale or you can tear them to get um, interesting shapes and uh, raw edges. These larger pieces I don't think are stickers, they're like vellum and paper. So you actually do have a bit of a variety there which is nice too. Next up I've got this little guy which again I think I'm going to do a different video about. This next thing is a little sticker pad. It's really, really cute. It's kind of in the similar vein to the uh, perforated stickers and the label roll that I showed you earlier. I'll be using it for similar purposes, but it's in different styles and shapes and colors. So this has got um, little round label stickers. It's got um, little rectangular ones. There's little dot stickers and all kinds of stuff. I think there's even some alphabet stickers in there. So um, this is another really useful thing. It's useful in the same way that plain washi tape is useful. Like obviously we have collections of stickers that are in cute shapes and have pretty patterns and icons and things like that, that like your feature stickers. And these ones support them, <laughs> you know? Um, and I love being able to like create little clusters and layered sections in whatever I'm making um, and having less busy ones like this is um, really, really useful. So that's what this is for. All right, and last but not least is actually a repurchase. These are some Sue Atelier stickers. Um, and they have, they're just pressed flowers and they're so pretty. I have purchased these exact ones before and used them all up and so I just got some more of them because I loved them so much and you can see why. There's a tiny little bit of gold in the heart of some of the flowers um, and they are just lovely to like scatter around a page um, to just add that little bit of extra floral whimsy and prettiness. So that's the final thing. So let's make something with some of this stuff. I have this piece of paper which is handmade paper and it's really pretty and it's got some lovely texture to it um, some really interesting little imperfections that make it really nice like some bubbles and um, you know the little speckles of different colored paper in there and I think it's really pretty so I'm going to fold it in three and use this to make a um, a little, well, I don't even know what the word is. It's, I mean, it's what I would make for like a pen pal letter. This isn't for a pen pal, it's just a letter to a friend. Um, but I want to include some extra little bits and pieces in it for her. Um, so this is going to be where all of that goes, basically. So I'm getting some um, vintagey looking lace and cutting it with some scissors that are basically blunt. So I don't know what I was trying to achieve there, but you know, we got there in the end. Um, and then I'm getting a little bit of brown paper and a little bit of one of the floral papers from the paper pack that I showed you earlier. And I'm going to stick these down on the front of this little folded, um, this little folded piece. I'm going to put the lace underneath first and then I'm going to add just a little bit of glue. And then I will put the paper on top, but the glue is basically just there to hold it in place until I can stitch it down. Um, 
and that will in turn make sure that the lace stays put and everything is where it needs to be. Um, when I know I'm going to stitch something, sometimes I don't decide I'm going to stitch something until after the fact, but when I know in advance that I'm going to do that, I don't put heaps of glue on because if you have to stitch through glue, even when it dries, it's not great for your machine. I find that it, there's always like sticky residue left on the needle and it just can add up over time and get pretty messy. So yes, in this case, I just put a tiny bit to hold it in place until I could stitch it down. Um, and you can see me here just taking it to the sewing machine and I'm going to stitch around the edges of the paper and I'm going to do that in, I'm going to make a couple of passes at it so there are multiple stitch lines and they're going to be a bit wonky because that's the look that I like on my paper, stitching at least. And yeah, I've caught the lace in that stitching so that's not going anywhere now. Um, and that will be how I close this up at the end, the lace will tie around it. So it looks like that and it's messy um, and fun. And then I thought I would add a little, uh, little crochet doily to it. I didn't make this. I do not know how to crochet. I have tried in the past and it is just a thing that my brain will not come at. <laughs> so I thought I might try a blue one because there are some blues in some of the other papers that I'm planning on using inside, but it was a bit too much color wise for the front. So I went with a white one instead. And what I'm doing is I'm just hand stitching it on just very simply with a needle and thread. And I'm gonna do so in a way that means that it, it stays put exactly where I want it, but it um, isn't so firmly stitched on that it's not easy to unpick. So that way Johanna can use it if she wants to. Did I say that's who this letter is for? It's for my friend Johanna. <laughs> um, so the next thing I'm doing is I'm actually making a little envelope. So I wanna include some of those really pretty stickers um, because Johanna likes vintage -y stuff. That's kind of her vibe and yeah I want to make a little envelope to put them in and the paper that I have this beautiful floral paper what none of the individual pieces were big enough to make an envelope out of so I've decided to patchwork them together to make a bigger piece and that's a fun way around of well, fun way around not having paper that's the right size so yeah, I stitch them together on the sewing machine and I get the added bonus of having that um, stitched texture on there. And then on the back, I've just used a little envelope template. You don't need one of those, but it certainly makes it easier for me um, to just not have to measure or rule anything. You just use it to trace the shape that you want. And yeah, now I have this little patchworked envelope. So you just fold the little flaps inward and then adhere them in place uh, depending on how you're going to use the envelope you obviously if it's going to be like interacted with a whole lot maybe use like a strong glue or like a red line tape this one is going inside another envelope so I'm just going to use glue um, like glue stick glue and that's more than enough to hold it together um, I'm not gonna stick it into the that trifold piece that I made earlier with glue or staples because I want Johanna to be able to reuse it if she wants to because she's also a journaler and again if you are a journaling paper crafting type from the internet I'm sure you know <laughs> who she is so like I don't need to tell you who she is she's obviously like one of the um, youtubers that we all love to watch um, yeah, so she's a paper crafter and she likes to put um, lots of little tuck spots and envelopes and various things inside her own journals. So I want this to be something that she can use if she wants to. So that was a rambly way of saying that instead of sticking it down to the inside of this, I'm only going to put it in with a little um, paper loop and tuck it inside that so that it's easy for her to take out and reuse if she wants to. Heck, that was a long-winded way of saying that. I got very much sidetracked. <laughs> So this is literally just like a little scrap of paper that I've cut off from something else that I was making and I've folded it around the envelope so that it's exactly the right size and I'm just going to stick it into the center of this. Um, I'm having trouble finding the words for what to call it. I'm just going to call it the card, okay? Just for want of a better phrase. Um, yeah, so it's stuck into the center of the card and now I'm choosing some of the stickers from... Um, that pack that I showed you earlier 
uh, that I think that she might like and I'm going to put them inside that and then that's going to tuck into this little spot and that little section is done. So, hooray! The next thing I'm doing is creating a spot to put my letter um, and this is one of the paper pieces from um, the pack that had the stickers and things in it, that sort of vintage botanicals pack and I'm just going to stick down three sides of this and it will be a spot that I can tuck my letter into later. So that's really easy. I'm just using red line tape for that um, because I want it to be reasonably firm and not come off once I stick the sticker inside. I'm sticking something down on this side as well. This is two pieces of the floral paper that I have stitched together and then stitched a glassine envelope on top of so that I can use that to put some other bits and pieces in. So I basically just put the paper there um, to make it pretty <laughs> and then um, the envelope is stitched to that, stitched to that. Um, and I'm going to put in some of the little Motex um, labels in that I've made specifically for her. So stuff that I know that she loves. So I've put in like cat mum because she loves her cats and I've put in um, vintage vibes, um, thrift finds because um, she's a, a wizard at finding things in thrift stores and you know things that are specific to her that she might then find good uses for in her own journal. When I stuck this bit, this bit down I also left one of the sides um, unstuck <laughs> so that it is a pocket as well as um, I guess a mount for that glassine envelope and I'm sticking some of the little stickers and labels and things into the side there so it's layered <laughs> which is fun uh, and then I'm gonna obviously do some washi tape because I don't know about you guys but I don't really send letters without washi samplers in them anymore <laughs> it's just such a nice thing to put in there and I always really appreciate having my own like I love having them in my pencil case it's a nice way of like keeping decorative elements with you that doesn't take up too much space and you know it's just fun so obviously I'm putting in some of the nice blue one that I got from stationery pal and I've selected some other ones that I think will go nicely with it and that I think that she will like as well so just wrapping that around a few times and adding a few more bits and pieces um, and just making sure there's plenty on there so that because there's nothing worse than like getting attached to a washi tape and then running out too quickly <laughs> so I'm just going to attach this one with a paper clip to one of the sides of the card and that's good and now I'm just going to write the letter I'm using um, airmail paper so it's really uh, really thin and light which is good so I can just tuck it into that pocket without it becoming too bulky and so that's going in there and then I should be able to just close it up and tie it with a little bow and it will be ready to stick in the post to my beautiful friend so thank you so much for watching whether you watched the first half or the second half or the whole thing um, I appreciate you this has been a long one <laughs> I hope it was entertaining and good company and fun uh, I'll put the links to the things that I got from stationery pal below if you're interested in checking any of them out and yeah I'll see you again really soon bye